The usage of plastic is increasing every day and especially rapid to take away food. It increases during the pandemic as we tend to stay and eat at home. According to the Organic Cooperation and Development Organization, plastic consumption has quadrupled over the past 30 years, driven by growth in emerging markets. Global plastics production doubled from 2000 to 2019 to reach 460 million tons. Plastic accounts for 3.4 of global 3.4% of global greenhouse gas emissions. Only 9% of plastic waste is recycled. 15% is collected for recycling, but 40% of that is disposed of as residues. Another 19% is incinerated. 50% ends up in landfill and 22% evades waste management systems and goes into uncontrollable drum sites. It's burned in open pits or end up in terrestrial or aquatic environment which is harmful, especially in poorer countries. So, have you ever wondered where does the wrapper go after it is being used? It will eventually end up being burned or blown away to the drain rivers and ocean. Furthermore, the materials that is being used to produce the wrapper is either paper from trees or plastic that takes hundreds of years to decompose. These materials do not exist in nature and therefore there are no naturally occurring organisms that can break them down effectively or at all. The chemical bonds in plastic materials are not accessible or familiar to bacteria in nature. So, we decided to build an alternate way to produce a wrapper that is biodegradable, made of an organic mixture containing tapioca starch and knuff powder. The global market outlook for plastic wrappers is estimated to be $4 billion and the value is estimated to increase year by year until 2027. Plus, the production of the wrapper does not disrupt the global market industry as it takes lesser time to produce compared to the current paper and plastic wrappers. Our product takes about an average of a little more than a day to produce compared to our to homemade paper which takes around 2-3 to three days to produce. Moreover, the use of the plastic wrapper and fiber-based wrappers has negatively impacted our environment, humans and wildlife. This is due to non-degradable solid waste microplastics and deforestation. In light of these global issues, we set out to create a biodegradable paper-like wrapper made from plant-based materials. We invented a paper-like wrapper from tapioca starch and knaf powder that could be an alternative replacement to the current plastic and paper wrappers we have. I introduce to you our invention, our product, Bioplast Wrapper. Bioplast Wrapper is 100% bi biodegradable. Not only that, it is identical in, a, in appearance to the current paper wrappers and it is just as strong, if not stronger, than the paper wrappers we have now. How we made this product is mainly by using tapioca starch and canaf powder and we added glycerol and acetic acid to uh, improve their flexibility. First, what we did was we pre-mixed all of the ingredients and then we water bathed it for 10 minutes in 80 degrees Celsius. Next, we stirred the mixture until it became that of a gel. And then we cooled it down at 45 degrees for 24 hours in an oven. And what we get is our Bioplast wrapper. Here is the difference between our Bioplast wrapper with and without canal powder. The significant findings we find in our products is that it is good in terms of its strength, its resistance to water, and how fast it decomposes. Now, in terms of strength, as seen in the video, the Bioplast wrapper shows good strength and durability as a wrapper compared to other wrappers. And in terms of water resistance, it can handle more than 24 hours it put under in water. And now, in terms of decomposing and biodegradability, it is shown that it biodegrades and decomposes in a span of less than two weeks. Now, what are the other benefits of the Bioplast wrapper? First of all, it is made from renewable, easy to grow and plant-based cheap materials. Secondly, it is biodegradable, meaning that it is also environmentally, environmentally friendly. The other benefits of the Bioplast wrapper is 
is that it is made from renewable, easy to grow plant-based and cheap material. Other than that, it is biodegradable and environmentally friendly. Plus, there is no problem with microplastics and it is simply produced and it's a simple process for it to be produced itself. Other than that, the materials used are safe. And last but not least, it is, very, it is a very significant potential at being a future wrapping product compared to those that are made out of plastic and paper where they degrade or decompose slower, which in other words is in 100 of years. 